one simple thing that's going to immediately increase your LinkedIn reach starting today. And this has become the number one source of leads for us on the platform. It's working fantastically. But before I do it, there's just two things I need to go through in order to get you ready for the tactic. And the first one is this, right? Because it's not going to work unless you have a positioning statement. What's a positioning statement? It's a statement in your LinkedIn profile based around everybody's favorite subject. And you might be thinking, well, look, I, my, I do loads of things. My market's got loads of things that, that they think about too. But really, really, it, it is simple. I see every single day a lot of LinkedIn profiles that talk about what they do. They might say, I am a CEO doing this. I am a business consultant doing this. Um, or they might say speaker, or even worse, they might say podcaster, speaker, and authority in something. And, and the problem with all these is we're not, we're not the only show in town, right? LinkedIn is a super busy platform. To give you some context, I went on the platform in 2009 as an employee. I went on as a business owner in 2016. And back then there was like, in 2016, 700 million LinkedIn users. There's now over 900, according to most of the statistics. And the majority of them that come on they're not even human. It's like AI and we're competing with AI. We're competing with humans and it's really, really busy. And so when something's really, really busy, we need to get people's attention. And if we don't have people's attention, nothing's going to work on the platform, including this tactic that I'll talk you through today. And why is that? Because there's two steps to growing a business. Number one, attention. Number two, conversion of that attention into paying clients. You cannot do one without the other. So what do you do in order to get people's attention? It's really, really simple. And this is something we've been doing for a long, long time. And we recommend to all our clients that they do it. And we've had hundreds of clients over the years. And it's this, position around your target market's number one problem. Everybody's favorite subject is themselves. And the way that manifests into the LinkedIn environment, where it's professional rather than thinking about, I don't know, what the kids are going to have for breakfast, it's the number one problem in their business right now. And if you're struggling for, if you're struggling to think of it, think about it like this. I always say, think about their Monday morning problem. You might be thinking, what's a, number, what's a Monday morning problem, Mark? Well, a Monday morning problem, envisage, imagine, picture your ideal client. If you don't know who your ideal client is, I'll recommend some videos in, in a minute, but stay with me here. Picture them. Picture them on a Sunday night. What do they do to prepare for the week? Because if you deal with high performers or if you deal with anyone in, in, in a job, they're probably either thinking about the job if they're in the job or planning their week if they're a high performer. They plan the week. What do they do on a Monday morning? On a Monday morning, they might do meditation. They might go for a run. They might drop the kids at school like I just have. And then they come back to the office and they turn on the computer. They're all excited for the week having done their planning on the Sunday. And then they see this one thing at the top of the inbox and they're like, oh, can't believe I've got to deal with that. And they think, they think, who do I know that can help me with that? And they don't know anyone. That is what you need to position your LinkedIn profile, your headline around that Monday morning problem. That's number one. And we'll get to the, uh, the, what you can use this for in a minute because it's going to build your following quickly. Number two, do, let, let me ask you a question. Do you all love sales? Do you all love getting cold messages incessantly, cold emails incessantly every single day? I don't know about you. My inbox is full of them. Subliminally or subconsciously, everywhere I'm going in every conversation, someone's selling and someone's buying, right? Sales is pervasive in our everyday life. And I live in the United States of America. And I speak to a lot of people and maybe, do you feel this way? I don't know if you feel this way, but a lot of people say, I'm just tired of being pitched. I don't like being pitched. And, and think about this. If you feel negativity when someone is pitching you, that is to say, you feel a bit off when someone pitches you, then subconsciously, you're going to be holding yourself back from doing the number one thing that is going to move your business forward. What's the number one thing, Mark? Pitching people. As an entrepreneur, the most important thing that we have to do is get our offer in front of people. There's many ways to do that, and I'm going to show you in a minute some less low-key ones, but it's important to understand that if we feel off and yucky and out of alignment when someone pitches us, subconsciously, at the subconscious level, we're going to hold back from pitching as much as we should do, because we're not going to want people to feel the way that we feel when people pitch us. So therefore, we're not going to pitch them because they, we don't want them to feel like we feel. And it's all going on in our mind. Here is how I turn this around. And it's really important for you to do this before we go into the next part is instead of seeing all this interference as just a, a nuisance, as just a negativity. Yes, there's some awful stuff. Yes, there's some disrespectful stuff. Yes, there's some stuff that's less than desirable. But every so often, there's some gold. 
There's a diamond. There's people that are professionals about this. If you turn it into a learning exercise, when you turn, look at things and go, that's not good. Let's not do that. And, oh, that's good. Let's do that. You turn your everyday interactions, your everyday experience on social media into a fantastic learning exercise that's going to prove you professionally, personally, and most importantly, your mindset. Because nobody behaves consistently in a way that's inconsistent with their belief system. And if your belief system is that sales is yucky, subconsciously, you're not going to sell. All right, number three, what is this tactic? This tactic is allowing me to do an extra post every single day. It's pushing a notification into all my ideal clients' Um, notifications into their feed without fail. It's allowing me to interact live with the audience, which is really, really important in, in, in this day and age with the, all the AI and robots. People want personal connection. It's allowing me to build my personal brand. It's getting me interviews. It's getting me speaking gigs. It's improving my, it's improving my communication skills. It's improving my bank balance. It's allowing me to spend more time with the kids and ultimately it's growing the business more than I could ever have imagined. What is this number one tactic? It's this, it's going live on LinkedIn and doing something very, very specific. And I'm gonna share the tactic that you can use right now to do this. So look, if you are interested in doing LinkedIn Live, there are a few steps that you need to take. The first and by far the most important is having a good title. But the first thing that I wanna just explain is if you just want all the steps, like which software to use, how to go live, how to get the title, how to open your video, how to create curiosity, how to use what I call the open loop technique, which I used in this video, by the way, there's a quick, checklist below. It's going to take you like two minutes to read through just so you can tick them off and go live because it's really, really interesting. A lot of people say that you can only do one post a day on LinkedIn, but I've not found that to be true. And we have extensive testing across myself and a peer group of clients and a peer group of people who are doing really, really well on the, on the, on the platform. And what they do is they do one normal post. What's a normal post? Like a text post or a video or a short form or an image. And then on top of that, they do a LinkedIn live. And on that LinkedIn Live, even though you've done the other post, this LinkedIn Live gets pushed into the notifications without fail. All of your target market sees it, and so you're able to build your reach immediately. Guaranteed, 100%. So download the checklist below, and you will be able to start doing this today. It's really, really simple. Your reach will increase. So if you're on board with the LinkedIn Lives, then the most important thing you need to do is to be able to keep people's attention. What do I mean by keep people's attention? If they don't watch the first 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, then it's not going to be a successful LinkedIn Live. You're not going to capitalize upon this additional reach that you've got. So what do you need to do? You need to find a way in order to make sure that people realize the video is relevant for them. There's three things I put in every single hook, if I can. What's a hook? The hook is the, the line, or in the case of a video, the words that make people realize it's worth their time. Remember, everyone's favorite subject is themselves. Everyone's favorite subject is their number one problem. So what do we need to have in the title? We need to have certainly those two things. Who's it for? Because everyone's favorite subject is themselves. And number two, what's the problem it's gonna solve for them? Because everyone's favorite subject at the moment on LinkedIn is the problem they're dealing with in business. So very simply, it might be an example of this title now. Do this to increase your reach on LinkedIn almost immediately. Implicitly in the title, it targets a LinkedIn user implicitly or more explicitly, sorry, within the title, it targets people with a problem of limited reach. That's good enough. Now, the third one is kind of the va va -voom, the champagne. If you can find some sparkle to add onto that, that's always gonna increase your title. How would you find sparkle? In this case, it's usually speed. I just said quickly, and it's, it's gonna literally happen today if you follow the steps in the video. So there we go. I hope that has been a really, really useful video for increasing your reach in LinkedIn immediately. If you want to know the platforms I use, how I set it up, the titles I do, how I open the video, download below. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Take care. Bye.